Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share um, about how I landed my coding developer job um, within less than four months um, after graduating coding bootcamp. So guys, a little background story about um, my experience is I graduated from a coding bootcamp. Um, and there I learned um, mean stack and so my coding bootcamp was about 12 weeks and it was every day Monday through Friday from 8 to 6 p.m. and um, I landed my first junior developer position less than four months so I just want to give you guys tips on how I did that um, whether you're you know just graduating boot camp or wanting to learn about what will happen if you join a coding boot camp or if you're currently in um, boot camp and you're just curious on how other developer um, experiences have been um, I want to share those tips with you guys so so first tip I would recommend is when you're straight out of boot camp or even currently in boot camp you will want to try to build a portfolio website and this gives recruiters um, an idea of your skills so you may say well I have no skills I just came out of boot camp well you want to give them an idea of what you learned then what skill did you learn in coding boot camp whether it's JavaScript HTML CSS react those type of things you want to show on your portfolio also um, you want to add the projects that you created on your in your coding bootcamp you want to add that to your um, portfolio and this will give them an idea of your what skills the skills that you have and how you projected these in these projects um, so that's um, tip one I would you know give you guys if you don't have a portfolio website make sure you get one um, if you don't want to you know pay for web hosting and you know, um, you know, create a website, uh, a simple website like that. You can use GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages is really cool to have, and actually, it's killing two birds in one stone because some companies do require to have for you to have GitHub experience because they may um, use the GitHub environment for um, uh, in in their, on their team. So you can actually use GitHub Pages, and I think some boot camps, if not all should teach you how to use github and how to commit and how to do repositories in github so if you have not you can if you have not like created a website portfolio you can use github.com uh, and um it's called the github pages um, um next is making sure that you have a linkedin page you want to make sure you have a linkedin page because when you're applying to um web developer jobs LinkedIn is very important so that they can search you up and check out your history, um, your background information, and also what you look like. You want to make sure that you have a professional perf uh, photo on there. You don't want to be like, you know, eating pizza or throwing up the deuces sign or drinking a, a, a beer bottle. You don't want that. You want to make sure it's professional um, because this is, this is the professional world. Now, you may say, well, I'm just, you know, I'm just a web developer on the computer, right? But a lot of these companies are very professional and very corporate. So you want to make sure that you have that look, right? Um, you want to make sure that you mean business. You want to make sure that you're very professional and that, um, you know, that you, ha that you know how to be professional in that setting. So LinkedIn is very um, good for that. Um, you want to make sure that you have a very friendly photo. Um, you want to make sure that your your information is updated on there because recruiters can also reach out to you on there. You want to make sure that you want to also make sure that you're very active on there. Uh, so whether that's like sharing web developer articles, just show that you're you have interest in being a web developer. You have interest in like latest technologies. You want to like sh have a strong online presence. So when they search up your name. Um, you know, there's, there's good things about you and there is, you know, tons of tech related stuff that shows that you're actually interested in being a web developer and you're not just a coding bootcamp person that just got out of coding bootcamp and just want a job. It's more than just wanting the job. It's actually having a passion for it. 
right? And so, I mean, this industry is um, saturated with tons of web developers, but most companies really want those, you know, passionate, loyal, and dedicated developers that actually um, want, you know, want to change and make a difference with, you know, their skills. And so. next is making sure you have freelance gigs. So um, I recommend that you do a lot of freelance gigs while you're waiting for um, uh, a recruiter to reach out or even a job to reach out for an interview. And you can try these on tons of different websites. If you, you know Upwork, Fiverr, these are good uh, freelancer websites that will help build your portfolio quickly as possible without trying to you know, find clients. Um, these clients are already on the website. All you have to do is submit a proposal um, or, you know, um, post a job um, that, you, that you're that you know, currently good at, which is websites, and people will come to you. Now, it may take a while because there's so much competition, but you never, you never know. Just, you know, get on these, get on these Upwork um, and Fiverr um, websites post what you like to do, post what you want to do on there, and you never know. Tons of clients will come. Um, and this will help your portfolio because you're already working, essentially, right? You're already working, you're just working online. And so um, you're making money, right? So um, this is really good for an interview question when they ask you, well, what are you currently doing? Well, I'm currently working for Upwork and I'm currently building website clients um, by doing that. I'm building website clients by creating websites on Upwork and I get paid for it. So that's definitely um, something that shows them, you know, this person may not have the job experience, but this person has experience in building websites for people and they're paying them to do it. So that's a really good um, first start um, into actually getting a web design client and web design experience. Next is if you're if you live in a big city like San Francisco, New York, um, Seattle, um, and you know Washington, then you want to go into the tech events that they have. Now there's tons of tech events um, in the big cities. I'm not sure about the small cities, but there may be meetups, um, which you could you know search on meetup.com. And they will have you know certain meetups for web developers and web designers and you know all sorts of stuff like that. So you want to go there, and this is a great way to network with other developers and um, senior developers that actually are in um, um, companies, um, technical recruiters, and also company recruiters. You want to go there because most tech events there are they are actually hiring um, for developers. So you want to actually go there and meet them. You want to go there, let them know, you know, that you're that you're a junior developer looking for a position, or that you're a developer looking for a position, um, and um, that you would like to apply um, if they're hiring. And this will get you in the door, and this will help you with connections, and this will actually help you with connecting. And you know, if you're a type of person that really don't know how to get out there, it will help you as well. You know, to try to promote yourself. It's all about promotion, guys. Um, it's, you know, at this at this point where you're at events, it's about personality and promotion, and how well are you able to speak with them, and how well are you connect with them because they don't know your experience right then and there, right? Because they're getting tons of resumes. And most of the time when you bring your resume, they're going to tell you just leave it there and we'll get back to you. So of course bring your resume, but you want to connect with them on a personal level and be very friendly and you know, uh, being very outgoing because they're going to remember you like that, right? So this is a, this is a good, you know, um, opportunity for that. Um, you know, you're not just, you know, an applicant online, applying online with dozens of other applicants. No, you're here in their face and, you know, you're actually, um, they actually see you and, you know, I'm a developer, but, you know, I have more than that. I'm, I have a great personality and I want to learn more about your company. And, you know, if you, you know, and you want to connect with the senior developers and check, ask them questions about what they're currently doing, if, if you can. Right, it's a tech event, so you, it's very busy. But this is a good opportunity to learn more about companies in your area, and you know, and more about what's out there. 
So if you have a chance to, to do that, I recommend going to tech events like that. And networking. So another um, thing that I've learned while applying for jobs online is, you know, you use like, you know, the basic um, like Indeed.com. I use Craigslist as well, uh, but I use Indeed.com and, you know, other like LinkedIn and Angel lists and, you know, all that. But one thing I did learn is that in applying for jobs, most of these developer jobs are going through an automatic system. And what I mean is the ATS system, the applicant tracking system. So believe it or not, your resume is not even read by real people when you first submit it. It's actually read by an automatic system. So um, this website is what I did use when I was when I was looking for a job. It's JobScan. Dot co and I'll leave the link below but how I learned about this um, website is actually through a tech event I was going to a tech event and they they were creating this you know system where there where where you can upload your resume and it will give you feedback on you know uh, feedback on your resume and how the ATS system reads it and if it's good enough to actually get passed to the real people because first the first the robots basically the basically the system reads it the automatic system reads it and if it's not good enough it's it's trash it doesn't even get to the real people that posted the ad online so um there's tips and there's you know ways on how to upload your resume you want to make sure that your resume is in the correct format you want to make sure your resume isn't very um, creative um, you want to make sure that uh, it has um, um, not so much colors and cool icons and stuff on your resume when somebody go online that's cool to have when you meet um, them in person but online is a little bit different because all of that stuff can actually decline your job application and that's probably the reason why um, you're getting declined from jobs um, because I know like I applied for over 100 jobs like within one week and I was getting you know decline um, jobs um, at like one o'clock in the morning and I was like what and it was actually it turns out to be it was the system like the system was actually declining my uh, resume before it even you know went to an actual real person so i hope you guys you know uh, uh, enjoyed my tips if you want more of these tips please feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below um i really love to make videos like this and to show you guys my experience and how i became successful in my career and how i became successful in being a developer and what i've learned and what you know and what you know obviously what i don't like about it um so i'm gonna you know work on creating these videos for you guys and if you have any questions for my next for next videos please feel free to leave those in the comment section below i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next next time Bye.